That was just a little bad luck. The ball rolls across the top of the backboard. The lob and Kawhi Leonard drops it home. Second chance points. And now Jokic glides in and tries to dump it to Porter and it's stolen. And leaking out is Batum and that's going to be a timeout to the Denver Nuggets. Put a little smile on your face right now as the Denver Nuggets are battling back against the Clippers here. Well, they ought to play a little Sikowski in here. Well, Nuggets could use Rocky at about this time. The Clippers, it's interesting, the Nuggets are shooting 50%. Five to shoot, and stolen. Kawhi Leonard, one of the great defensive players in the league. Give it to Batum, basket counts foul. George or Kawhi's around. Kawhi's going to come over, and he just used those long arms and hands. And Barton just... Lou Williams, Batum, Zubats. Kawhi Leonard and Kennard, the five on the floor for the Clippers. Batum. Okay, he, he just knocks he in just, another one. He can't get the finish. He wants a whistle, not going to get it. He just had to be a little bit patient. He would have had a wide open look. Give it up. Lou Williams ahead of the pack to the house and lays it in. Five straight turnovers. Yeah, they got out of it, but their defense stays strong. And that's what the Suns have to do. When their shots aren't going, they got to continue to defend. With hands of Batum, gets the turnover. On the kick, corner three from Batum. Yes! All timely. And all of them have been wide open. Yeah, great drive. That, but that was in length and that athleticism that time by Murray to, you know, get that shot up. Batum finds a seam, draws the contact, counted it a foul. Almost lost it here, but heads up play to save it. And Batum, one dribble. Young fellow on his back. Mills, a catch and shoot corner three. Batum has a power play, finds Jackson with the flush. And the Clippers pull to within one. Does a poor job in getting back in transition. Gives up about 18 points a game in transition. And Reggie Jackson right here showing off his bops right there, able to get it in. Leonard draws an immediate double team. Hunts for the open player, Kennard. Batum for a long mm. two. Late in the clock, he hesitated. Usually when you do that, it's bad news. This is a tough matchup for him. Trying to move his feet and does. Batum, boy, a tough shot over Draymond Green, who closed out. For the Clippers, Nicholas Batum does a little bit of everything. Wiggins. Wiggins played a solid game on Wednesday night. Finished up with a team high 19. Batum over to Ibaka as the Warriors failed to get back in transition. So making his minutes count. Well, look, it gets the rebound, then makes the right decision in transition. Waits until he draws. Baysmore into the game. He lost the handle. Curry fell down, and Batum has a little room service. It is one o'clock for both teams. That's a great report, though, because everybody's routine is different. But the same starting time for the Chicago Bulls as well as Kawhi Leonard lays it. Leonard backing down on White. Back to Batum, forcing up a three. Counted and a foul. Oh my! Hey, listen, now, now watch Batum. He's kind of off balance here. He see that that is the same thing that Marcus Moore Sr. did kind of reach in at the end. The strength to kind of continue that and then playing for his money. He's gonna be just fine. So you have a guy that can score 20 plus points a night as Batum knocks down the shot. Number one in the league in terms of percentage at threes. As Rashawn Holmes four on the clock. Here's Buddy Heald on the penetration. Oh, double team turnover. Back comes Batum. Batum, full head of steam, lays it up. 50%. That's in about a 78 to 80 game stretch on both sides. Batum, an aggressive drive to the rim, and he lays it in. This will be a 48 minute battle if the Clippers are not ready. Batum looking, I think, to draw the contact. He does not, but he knocks down the three. Jumping into the defender to try and pick up the foul call on the shot. And then the defender, McDermott, right there, looks at the referee and says, he jumped in with his body to me. And you just have to love the energy right now from the Brooklyn Nets. Just competing on every possession. Batum! And contest the shooter in the corner. But just 
you know, you don't want to foul a jump shooter right there. And great little set there. Great execution. Batum again. Long distance bomb from Nick Batum. Larry Drew is one of the assistants for Tehran. Larry actually took over for Tehran as that ball is sent to the rim. Leonard with the finish. Kennard, baseline, Abaka, corner. Sexton closes out on him. Batum, fade away. Batum knocks it down, and the uh, Clippers, after two quarters, own this 52-49 lead. We're here for a few minutes. More shooting on the floor for Minnesota. Coach Gates talked about not as being one of Minnesota's best three-point shooters as Nicholas Batum do, does what he does. They have been just superb on this trip, included coming back from 24 down. As George banks it in. League leader in that category is at 56%. Ibaka surrounded by red jerseys. Gives it to Batum. Oh, and he flushes it in with two. Clark blocked by Batum. And the Grizzlies also low turnovers. Only three tonight. Here's Leonard for three. Puts it in. Right there getting in the passing lane. Getting it done on the defensive end. Batum, nice fake over Tice, and goes off the glass for two. You go to sleep, wake up to your family that you won a game, won your last game before break. Batum for three, and that snaps a four-minute drought without a field goal. Bill's hands by trapping him. And then when the ball got to Russell Westbrook's possession, they fouled. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of time. Now it's six seconds. Paul George lost it on the behind the back dribble. Went to the floor. Found Williams. Swung it to Batum. Ouch. Corner three. Ah. And now Jalen Brunson a steal of a long pass down the left sideline intended for man. Brunson waiting for support going all the way back out to Luka but Batum with enough length to steal it and then Luka Jackson from a third foul before we reach halftime George a drive and kick Batum sidesteps the closeout and nails a three a speedy guard has been a problem for the Clippers oh leather larceny Batum throws it down by 19 yes get in the passing lane and finish with two hands Nicholas Batum. George into Batum and lays it in. Counted it a foul. Graham has been putting that point guard. So watch this move right here. The drop off pass at the last second. That's what Zubac, Zubac usually does. Instead, it was Batum. But we may have seen the end of ball for very little time left on the 24 second clock half second so all can happen is a lob man oh he takes care of business terrence man with 11 first half points second effort for man off the window does not fall and connaughton has the ball for the bucks defensenjo denied by batum thought divincenzo had a layup for sure the pitch ahead by middleton and Nicholas Batum saves it before it gets to the glass. He tried to get fancy with the finger roll. We know that he can throw it down. Doesn't hurt when Kennard goes five for six. Batum to the rim and gracefully lays it in. 17 to eight Clippers. I was just mentioning maybe Nicholas Batum will do a little bit more. I mean, this is spectacular. Defensively, they are eighth in points allowed. Their defensive rating is 19, but that time, a beautiful rainbow three by Nick Batum. Can't get it to go. Batum's got it. Now it's out to Rondo. Batum in stride over Sharic. Up and down. Puts it through. Guiding it in. Buffy can stimulate the offense for the Clippers. Morris to Batum. And he lays it in. Counted and a foul. Misfires on the three. Lee back the other way in overdrive. Denied by Batum. The more mature Nicholas Batum right here able to get off the ground and get this block shot. It's been fun to see. He has been, again, another one of those players that has really stepped up. Uh-oh, Batum escapes. And flushes it in for two. Clippers down four. So they want to prove to themselves that they can't complete it. So they're not going to give up. Batum. Mm. Feeling good. Let's him fly. Yes, sir.
How quick was this on Batum on the trigger right here? Talking about getting your feet set. Great execution there by the Clips. 15 points for George. What a feed. Denied Batum. Do not go in there. They just wrapped up a nine-game homestand. They went 7-2 and two over that span. They have the third easiest remaining schedule. Man, a steal. Gets it ahead. Batum takes it in for the two-handed French flush. Right here, great hands, active hands. Batum causing a deflection, and then, man, gets it back and rewards him. Possession for the Clippers. Batum lost it to Sadiq Bey. Josh Jackson down the lane to the basket. Blocked by Nick Batum, who yeah. had five blocks last night. Screen from Cousins. Batum lines it up, knocks it down. How big this bucket is, the pump fake right there, and then Jeremy Grant's going to get a little piece right there on the grab, and Batum's going to go through with the shot, knock it down. Pistons had an eight-point lead. Anderson back to Allen all alone for three. Big rebound inside by Tillman. Blocked from behind by Batum. What is Steph, 34 now? I think he's 32. Oh, is he 32? All right. I'm trying to make him older than he really is. Batum with a nice move. Gotten the clearance from the <laughs> medical team. Is it okay? That's all I needed. <laughs> yeah, it's just a hindrance. And you just half step like that all over you. Batum out of the corner. Just a quick touch release there from the veteran Nicholas Batum in his 13th season. Jackson on him. Well, right here, right? Cam did a good job of trying to stop the pass across court, but. An opportunity for the Nuggets to get out here in transition. Rivers. Oh, denied yeah. by Batum. Passe foi. <laughs> French or Spanish in high school? Uh, I went to a Central City school, inner city school. We didn't have French. Bro. Really? No. Well, you had Spanish. Excuse me for that dunk in transition. Van Vliet leaves it inside. Batum rejects Siakam. Van Vliet. 29, a 6 0 Clipper run, and we're tied at 71. Slap away, Batum, the steal, forces his way in, and the layup goes. Drummond said when they sat him in Cleveland before they bought him out, and here comes a nice spinning move, rotating. That was erased by Batum. It was the one in the last final run, and then the Rockets had to go in kind of a rebuilding mode after that. There's a shot from the outside that's good and brought J.J. Redick over. J.J. sounds like will be unavailable for this series. And Serge dumps it into Batum. What a shot! Oh, the only thing missing there is the chef's kiss. Beautiful. Serge Ibaka, a.k.a. Magic Johnson, there, right there with the pass. Then he'll lean into you and get the foul. If you stay down, then he steps back and away from you, and he gets a clean look. Batum attacking to the rim, counted at a foul. By Batum, following what PG and Kawhi started, put the ball on the floor, attack going to the basket, make the defender move his feet. Reach the encore yet. <laughs> Not yet. Paul George inside. Extra pass swung into the corner, and a Reggie Jackson three is good. Seven seconds left on the clock. Rondo to drive it, got around Tim Hardaway. No on the layup, but Batum, no body on him, and he has the putback slam. Hard to put a body on a player. And right now, they're just five guys around the perimeter, moving around, finding the seams. And, of course, George shooting with great confidence early. Doncic is one of three into Marjanovic, the active and leaping Batum with a turnover there. Three on three ahead, Jackson. Seems like he likes to play the Clippers in L.A., Sort of going off of games one and two. Another great pass. Leonard inside, finding the cutting Batum. Bail out the possession. There it is. Tim Hardaway Jr., three-pointer blocked. Kleba got it up on the iron, but nobody there to rebound for Dallas. Got to get back. Here comes Reggie Jackson lobbing to Batum. Timeout, Dallas. That one down, and then in the open court, just a lob pass to Batum, and he's able to finish up top. Leonard guarded by Doncic. Nick Batum gets inside and a big finish. Both teams shooting well. Clippers have hit seven of their first ten from the field. Maverick 62%. Batum gets away from the double. 
Rajon Rondo, his first shot off the bench, and Rondo connects on a three. Donovan Mitchell makes his move. The bounce gets intercepted by Batu. And turnovers are going to be important in this series because both teams can be dynamic defensively. Looking to post up Morris. Five seconds. Four seconds. Batum got a three. A French connection. With the shot clock expiring, Paul George gives the Clippers an 8-3 advantage. Knock away. A good hustle. Man takes it to the rim and lays it in. But that has not been the case here to start the second. Niang. And Batum steps in front of the passing lane. And Niang has just really struggled with his confidence here in this series. Reggie Jackson. Jackson. Batum. Yes, sir. A three. And the Clippers continue to stay disciplined. Create an opportunity. And Batum with the delivery on that triple. Clippers in control. He's, he's, he's hobbled. The ankle is not right. He's fine. Batum off the steal and the finish. Jordan Clarkson, he is capable of exploding. Bad pass that time from Conley. Rondo throws it ahead. Batum. Alley up to man. Terrence Mann, the throwdown, and the Clippers regain the lead. He's got 14 points already. Batum, oh, the finish. Nick Batum, the slam.